Rolling a clay slab is a simple process that is the base for many other clay processes. We're going to start with this pre-wedged piece of clay and I'll start by just slapping it down on one end and then the other. I'll go ahead and slap it down on the table, just not too hard, slap it down a little and continue to flatten it out and then I'll start to throw it at the table at an angle, just stretching the piece Continue to stretch until it's become somewhat flat. At this point, I'll start with the rolling pin, just as rolling out dough, and pressing lightly at first, and just start in the middle, press one way away, and then towards, away, and towards, and turn my piece, and continue to do that away and towards myself until I have started to smooth out the piece. At that point I will flip it over. As you can see there are wrinkles that are formed under here and so it's important that I switch which side is on top and bottom. And then same process, we'll move the clay away from me and then towards me, moving from the center but crossing it so that I'm not moving the clay further than it has to but I'm getting all of the clay surface. And do that and switch turn it again and you can either turn the piece or turn your body depending on which is easier for you. It is easier to turn yourself as the piece of clay gets larger. Um, though it's pretty easy to turn this because I'm using one pound uh, wedge of clay to make this slab. Now a lot um, on how far you go depends on the process you're going to use. And I want to make a hump mold bowl with this so I'm going to try and smooth it out to about a quarter of an inch thick, which is will make a nice light bowl, but it should be strong enough to handle uh, throughout the process. And continuing to go, and I'm trying to go in many different directions so that I keep the piece round as our bowl will be round. And lightly at the end to get rid of any marks from the rolling pin. One more flip and I gently pick it up, flip it over, trying not to stress the piece at all. Smooth it a little more, smooth it out, and there we go. We have ourselves a clay slab that's ready to be used in the next process.